started, I'm going to show you guys my favorite little snack from Sprouts. And there are several different options like fruit and granola and yogurt and cheeses and pretzels. There's just so many different combinations that they offer, but this is my favorite one because I love Greek or Mediterranean um, food options. This one here has olives um, that are pitted. There's also some really chunky, juicy, yummy, oh my god, my mouth is watering already, feta cheese. There is some hummus and some little pita bites. So super, super good. And this particular box is $4.13. Jude picked out this. This is just some lettuce, artisan style lettuce. So it's kind of fancy lettuce, but um, yeah, super good. And all I do is take it out of its packaging. It comes in little bundles or bunches like this. So I just hold it at its base and chop it up like this and add it to a big bowl and make my salad from there. Um, these are like live or what have you, kind of like butter lettuce is typically packaged with its roots still. It's still full of dirt, so you're gonna make sure that you rinse it very, very well. I also got a couple of these O oh Snap pickles and I got one spicy one for Chris and I got two regular ones for Jude and I because we can't handle that much spice. It's way too spicy, but he loves when his lips are on fire, Lord Jesus. So I got some of those. I also got some string cheese, which is perfect snack on the go. Um, I throw one of these in Jude's lunch or when he's running behind to like a sporting event, I'll pop one of these in a little baggie with like a few grapes. Um, or something small like that to snack on in the car. These are perfect. I was first introduced to this butter by a trainer who um, told me all about Bulletproof Coffee. If you guys don't know what that is, do a quick Google search and it's like the best way to have a coffee. I got some gorgonzola cheese. This is a staple in this house. I love gorgonzola cheese. It's really buttery, salty. I like it a lot more than blue cheese, but if I can't find gorgonzola, I'll definitely pick up some blue cheese. It's great in salads, and it dresses up the best cheese plate. I also got some mango slices, which are so good. A big, nice bundle or package of them. Um, I am currently on Weight Watchers, and these are zero points for um, you know, a few slices. You don't want to overdo it because it is fruit, tons of sugar, but good sugar. So this is a really nice treat. Um, if you're Mexican, like me, I like to put chile on it as well. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I can't wait to fil finish this video because I'm hungry. I can't even speak right because my mouth is watering. I got some of these um, garden burgers. This one in particular reminds me of the cowboy caviar salsa from Trader Joe's, which is so good. Um, please try that if you guys have not. I can kill a whole jar in one day because it's so good. Um, I am a practicing vegetarian, but uh, for the most part, I do only eat vegetarian and yum. I can't wait to have these. I also bought the guys are the boys in this house um, some burgers, and you guys will see their burgers in just a moment. I like to have a few different types of um, greens for salad. So this one in particular is baby arugula and it's so good. Just tossed with lemon, um, some olive oil, salt and pepper. Amazing. So good. Here are some blue corn tortilla chips, which are so good. And if you guys are on Weight Watchers, these are low in points as well. Chips and salsa is two points, which is so good, especially if you're like me and I'm on a 30 point plan. So yummy. Okay. So the next bag has some cilantro lime salsa. I've been so into chips and salsa lately, you guys. Probably because mostly it's low in points and I like snacking. I'm a snacker and that's probably how I gain my most weight is just from snacking. So I got that salsa to go with my blue corn tortilla chips. I also got some cold cuts for Jude's lunches. I got some Pasta, which is really easy. All you do is boil it, put a little bit of salt, some, a little splash of olive oil in the water, boil these, drain them, and then toss them in your favorite dressing or favorite salsa. What am I talking about? And then you just toss them in your favorite sauce. These are the patties that I'm gonna use for the guys. And these are $2.51 for two, and they're really thick, juicy. These ones are Western Bacon and Jack burgers so hopefully they like them 
Also got some beer for Chris. He really likes grapefruit beer. I don't know why it's me, but this is what he likes. So if you guys like um, like drinks that are on the sweeter side, you probably like this. I personally like to drink vodka straight. If you like beer, um, give it a try. There was um, a sample when we were there, and this is cottage cheese. And they had just plain cottage cheese. They had it with fruits. What else did they have to do? They had strawberries and... Original, okay, and then they also have this one which was olives and Jude picked the olive one and he loved it So we got a couple of them to try. I got some cilantro I got some organic um, spinach spaghetti Some of these little potato chips to throw in Chris's lunches a bag of grapes, which looks like it's half empty, and it's because I took a ton of them out because I didn't need a huge bag full of grapes because they will go bad. Um, so yeah, I talk about that trick in every single one of my videos because I was, you know, stuck with this huge bag. Every time I felt pressured to buy a whole bag, but you don't have to. I actually got it from somebody else. They said to cut down on price and then also cut down on wasting food. Just take, open the damn bag and take, the grapes out and just only buy what you need. This is perfect for the week. Jude wanted to try something new and, or I guess an old favorite. He wanted me to get some kiwis. So I gave him the task to pick out two veggies and two fruits. So this was one of his fruits and so was the grapes. This is for Jude and it's made, it's called Almond Dream Bites and it's almond milk um, covered with chocolate. And yeah, it's just a, a little healthier alternative to like the classic dibs that you see at the movie theaters, which Jude absolutely loves. So he's gonna give this one a try. This is my first time trying Arctic Zero and this is their cookie dough flavor. Also got a couple of cucumbers, a bell pepper, a grapefruit. Jude wants to try a grapefruit. Some tomatoes and the most perfect avocado ever. We did the little um, stem test. Jude did the little stem test and this one is perfect. And last but not least, an onion. 